Hi everyone, it's Gary Nicholson here for the Mountain Weather Information Service. This is your planning outlook video updated on Friday the 2nd of February. Now as we start the new month, it's a cold story overall and will stay that way almost for the foreseeable future with a generally cold air mass that's in place across the British Isles. There was some snow at times, topping up what's in existence already, although amounts are relatively small and the terrain remaining extensively frozen throughout the week ahead at least. Winds fairly light, uh, giving some glorious winter conditions on the mountains at times. Just watch for the odd day where winds do become stronger. Let's have a look through those temperatures then, and this is at 850 millibars. That's at around 4,500 feet or so in the atmosphere, maybe a little bit higher as pressure begins to build into next week. Now over the weekend, essentially, you're down below freezing from around 600 metres upwards, but maybe not a great deal of change of temperature with height in many respects. So minus 2, minus 3 is about the order of things on higher areas. Through Saturday into Sunday, colder air begins to drain in across England and Wales, and if anything, over the days ahead then, it could be the higher tops of Wales, the Pennines and Lakes that see the very coldest of the temperatures, where it could be minus 5, minus 6 on higher areas as we go through into Monday. Across Scotland then, you'll find terrain frozen again from low levels up, and you've got values minus 3 to minus 5 maybe on the higher tops there. This then is going through into Monday and the tongue of very cold air that shows as minus 10, that's probably higher up than the summits uh, of the Pennines and across Wales. So you can knock that down a few degrees to around minus 5, minus 6. Either way, it just highlights where that very coldest air will be. Now notice how little tongs of less cold air try and come in from the northwest, but really they're squeezed out of the way and it's the dominant very cold air that stays around into the middle part of the week and uh, across higher tops. It's around minus 6, minus 7 that's the likely temperature. The value is shown here, again, maybe a little bit higher up than the very highest summits on this particular model chart. So either way, though, we can get the story that it's a cold air mass that stays right in place over many days. Again, here's just the tongue of slightly less cold air. It's still the sub-zero that comes in later in the week but it gets squeezed away once again for the dominant cold air to be in place. So as we look through the synoptic charts, there's Saturday and uh, the front that is slow moving across the British Isles will bring snow across the hills and mountains extensively, uh, tending to fade across the western highlands of Scotland and in Wales it may break up into showers. Extensively snow on higher areas, below around five or 600 metres it may be more sleety and in places uh, more likely rain. A murky day then really around that front, but cloud bases tend to lift across the West Highlands. Strong winds across Wales, maybe just some gusty winds at times elsewhere. I think it's Wales though that is the focus for winds reaching gale force on higher areas. Now pressure builds into Sunday and we've got the leftovers of that front still in play and some residual snow flurries may just be around but shouldn't amount to a great deal. A legacy of murk and low cloud in some places that could hang a good part of the day, eastern Scotland perhaps in particular but tending to lift and break elsewhere as time goes on. Now winds are looking very light and across the western half of Scotland, the west and northwest highlands could be a glorious day as that low cloud is more broken here and some sunshine and fine winter conditions in prospect for you there. Now subtle changes into Monday, pressure is still essentially high and winds are light in many areas but look as though they'll strengthen as south southwesterlies across the western and northern parts of the Scottish Highlands. A front that's trying to nudge in it may come in late in the day, I think the daylight hours will get away dry and bright although cloud thickening and maybe lowering onto some western coastal summits later on. And then we've got the risk of some snow and some rain coming in, I think, by Monday night. Uh, around lower coastal slopes turning to rain, but extensively into the highlands, uh, mostly all falling as snow. Terrain widely frozen then, with uh, a hard frost in many of the valleys and the glens in the morning, and the coldest temperatures as we saw, really, across the higher ground in England and Wales, around minus 5 at 3,000 feet or so. Now detail becomes tricky into midweek and it's all how quickly any fronts do pass east and southwards. They're not really doing a great deal for the temperature but may just introduce some moisture and putting some snow down across some of the mountains. These fronts may never quite get as far south as this but it's the idea of some areas of snow trying to push south across the country. May not amount to a great deal but will just add to any snow accumulations on higher areas and essentially it's staying cold with terrain frozen from the lowest levels up. Wind speeds at this stage are looking awkward to get the details of. It may be uh, still fairly light winds, but it could just be gusty at 20-30 miles per hour, perhaps locally a bit more just for a time as these fronts are around. 
Now heading through midweek, essentially we're in between the major weather systems, which mean detail is going to be rather awkward to come by. Uh, we've got high pressure out over the North Atlantic, high pressure also over Scandinavia, a zone of low pressure towards uh, uh, Iberia and lower pressure around Iceland as well. So we're in a bit of a cold and that cold air is staying in place. It's uh, not being moved by any major changes to the weather pattern. If anything, we might find that the wind flow is predominantly from the north as the high to the west of us tries to build towards Iceland. That's blocking the progress of any fronts really coming in from the Atlantic, the milder air not getting in there. Uh, so with something of low pressure over uh, central western Europe, we're trying to draw in that north northeasterly and a few areas of snow showers may be around, but also some dry and some bright weather with some excellent visibility possible uh, in a good part of the country. And later in the week, again, we're all still in between weather patterns. Things trying to come in from the Atlantic can just about work out where a warm sector is trying to nudge in. We saw that on the earlier charts that uh, little incursions of less cold air were trying to push our way, but they're struggling to get into that uh, block of cold there that uh, really is hard to move out of the way once it is becoming established. And by the end of the week it may be that an area of low pressure spins up somewhere around Biscay and somewhere there could be some more organized snowfall developing at times or just more clusters of snow showers but it's that idea that we're really not seeing any great changes coming in from the Atlantic at this stage and that general area of cold conditions stays across so the British Isles, much of Western Europe and into Scandinavia too. And that's highlighted by the temperature anomaly chart. That's uh, over five days between the 7th and the 12th of February. So heading a bit further forwards through next weekend and beyond. And you can see the extent of colder than average conditions across uh, most of Europe uh, and values down two, three, five degrees below the long term averages for this time of year. So we might not be able to get the detail, but I think the overriding message it looks as though the cold air is very much here to stay through this first 10 days of February and many indications would keep that going further ahead as well. So pretty good news really for lovers of winter weather. We've got a sustained cold over a good many days ahead and we'll keep an eye on those details and update you on the longer range outlook in the full planning video updated on Tuesday of next week. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.